my name is Alana and welcome to day 21 of 28 days of self-love yoga. If you missed the first 20 videos in this series, be sure to check out the playlist linked in the cards as well as at the end of this video. But I'm assuming that if you've made it through week three, you don't need me to explain what the challenge is anymore. So I'm going to use the intro time to explain what's coming after this challenge. So after this challenge is over in March, I will begin offering live Zoom yoga classes. Uh, so be sure to head to my Instagram to check out the details on that. I will have the link for everything in my bio there. So the benefit of Zoom yoga is I'm able to see you <laughs> and give you modifications specific to your body and not just something on a YouTube screen that's kind of generalized for everybody. Um, so. If that sounds like something you're interested, be sure to check out my Instagram. But today's video is focused on growth and expansion. So we're going to be focusing on really growing and opening through the body throughout this practice. So there are no props required. So let's go ahead and begin in a wide-legged child's pose, bringing the knees wide on the mat and bringing the big toes to touch sitting the hips back towards the heels and lowering the forehead towards the mat. Using this space at the beginning of our practice to connect in with the breath, taking a deep inhale in through the nose, and exhale, sigh it out the mouth, letting everything go. Inhale deeply, and exhale completely. Internally repeating to yourself, I learn and grow every day. I learn and grow every day. On your next inhale, lift the forehead up off of the mat and walk both hands in towards the knees and bring the knees to touch, closing the legs in front of you. And then begin to lower the forehead back towards the floor, this time extending the arms back behind you in a narrow-legged child's pose. On an inhale, lift the arms up and overhead and lift the hips up off of the heels, coming to standing on your knees. And exhale, press the hands behind you, lowering the hips and the forehead, narrow-legged child's pose. Inhale to grow, reaching the arms up and overhead. And exhale to release. Moving with your own breath for two full cycles. Focusing on lengthening from every corner of the body. On your next inhale, bring the arms out in front of you, coming into all fours. Walk the knees back and tuck the toes under, and lift the hips up into a downward facing dog. Pedaling out at the feet, pressing the chest back towards the thighs, releasing the neck, and grounding down through the hands, gripping with the fingertips. On an inhale, reach the right leg up and back, three-legged dog, keeping the hips squared down. And exhale, draw knee to nose. Inhale, grow the right leg back up. And exhale, knee to nose. This time, step the right foot in between the hands. and Double check the alignment of the lower body, making sure that both feet are in two separate lanes. The right knee is over the ankle before lifting the upper body up into a high lunge. Growing up with the fingertips, reaching the arms up with every inhale and exhale to sink a little deeper in the hips. On your next inhale, straighten through the front knee, keeping the arms lifted. 
And exhale, bend into the front knee and bend into the elbows, drawing the arms down into cactus arms at your sides. High lunge. Inhale to grow, straightening through the front knee, reaching the arms up and overhead. And exhale to bend into the elbows and the front knee. Inhale to grow. Exhale to bend. I learn and grow every day. Next time you're lifted, stay lifted. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, begin to hinge at the hips, folding forward, drawing the fingertips to shin or releasing the fingertips to frame the foot, allowing the neck to release here, drawing forehead to knee, keeping the back heel lifted up off of the mat in a modified pyramid pose. Stay here or plant the left fingertips down on the mat and reach the right hand up, growing the fingertips up and opening through the chest. Revolved pyramid. And exhale to release. Step the right foot back, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, draw knee to nose. Inhale to grow, left leg back up. And exhale, draw knee to nose. Stepping the left foot in between the hands and double checking the lower body alignment before reaching the arms up and overhead. Taking a few deep breaths here. Inhaling to lengthen and grow through the fingertips and the crown of the head. And exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, straighten through the front knee. And exhale, bend back into the knee, bending into the elbows, cactus arms, high lunge. Inhale to lift and grow, arms overhead, straightening through the knee. And exhale to bend. Inhale to grow. Exhale to bend. I learn and grow every day. On your next inhale, stay lifted and exhale to fold at the hips, bringing hands to the shin or hands to frame the foot, keeping the right heel lifted in a modified pyramid, releasing any tension that you may still be holding onto in the neck. Feel free to stay here or plant the right fingertips and lift left fingertips up towards the ceiling, opening through the chest. And exhale, release the left hand back down, step the left foot back, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, look between the hands and step both feet to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale to slowly roll up to standing, reaching the arms up and overhead and coming up onto your tippy toes to grow as tall as you possibly can. And exhale to release. Turn to face the long edge of your mat and step both feet out wide with about one leg's distance in between them 
angling your toes in, heels out. Inhale to engage through the pelvic floor, lift the chest up, and exhale, hinge forward at the hips, lowering the hands down to the shins or to the mat, relaxing through the neck in a wide-legged forward fold. Either keeping your hands directly below you or maybe walking them back between the legs to pull yourself a little bit deeper. And the next inhale, halfway lift, press into the fingertips and lift the spine. Exhale, release. Bring your hands to your hips and slowly hinge all the way up to standing. And from here, angle the heels in, toes out. Switching the direction and begin to bend into both knees. Again, engaging through the pelvic floor and lower abdomen here to maintain balance through your lower body. And inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, bend into the elbows. Goddess squat. Inhale to straighten through all of your joints into starfish pose, growing as tall as you can. And exhale, sit down, goddess pose. Inhale to lift and grow. Exhale to bend. Next time you're lifted, release your hands to your hips and step to the top of your mat. <sighs> Moving into tree pose, bring the right sole of foot on the inside of the left leg, either at the ankle, on the calf, or on the inner thigh, just not on the knee. Coming into a steady tree pose, placing your arms wherever is most comfortable for you and taking the leg variation that makes it easiest to maintain your balance. Maybe growing your arms up and overhead. I learn and grow every day. Exhale, release everything down to the mat and switch sides, bringing the left sole of foot to the inside of the right ankle, calf, or inner thigh, just not the knee. And finding balance in the lower body and taking any variation with your arms. Internally repeating, I learn and grow every day. Exhale, release the left foot down and forward fold. Heel toe the feet out to the outer edges of your mat and bend into the knees, sinking the hips, bringing the elbows to the inside of the knees to root down through the hips before releasing the hands behind you and lowering down onto your back. Extending both legs long and reaching both arms up and overhead. Grab onto the right wrist and cross the right ankle over the left. Lean the upper body towards the left, maybe walking the feet over towards the left as well. Coming into banana pose. And imagine that you're being pulled out to the left from both your hands and your feet. 
really growing and lengthening through the body in this reclined position. Inhale back through center and uncross the ankles. Switch the grip of your wrists, grabbing onto the left wrist, maybe walking the feet off to the right and stacking the left foot over the right. And lean the upper body towards the right. Banana pose, second side. Again, finding length and engagement through the entire left side of the body as if you're being pulled up and out towards the right. Inhale back through center, releasing your arms by your sides and uncrossing your ankles, allowing the feet to relax out to either side and getting any last little movements out before moving into stillness, sinking into the rhythm of your breath and allowing the growth of today's practice to sink in as we lie here in Shavasana. If your mind begins to wander, just draw your attention back to the breath and to the affirmation, I learn and grow every day. I learn and grow every day. Inhale, begin to bring movement back to the fingertips and toe tips. Maybe reaching the arms up and overhead once more before bending into both knees and rolling over onto your favorite side. Keeping both eyes closed as you press yourself up into a seat. Placing the hands on the knees or bringing hands through heart center. Taking three final grounding breaths together, inhaling through the nose and exhaling to sigh out the mouth in three, two, one. Inhale. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for completing. I'm not where I thought I was on my mat. I, <laughs> I was totally relaxed. Um, thank you for completing the first three weeks of this challenge with me. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this practice and I hope you stick around by subscribing. Be sure to let me know if you liked this video with your thumbs and I hope to see you again in tomorrow's video or in a live Zoom class. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye guys.